Hi everyone, Darla from stampingunderdoctorsorders.blogspot.ca with you today and somebody had asked how to trace this cute little Pinkie Pie. So I'm going to bring her in and because I have the designer edition I can just drag and drop her on my screen. The other way you do that is you would file, open, and then it would bring up a browse window of your computer and you'd find the file and then open it. Okay. I'm going to just size her down so that I can fit her all on that here. And I just want to show you, I opened my cut style window because I want to show you that this is a picture. So there are no cut lines to cut the pony out. If I say cut edge, it cuts it out as a rectangle picture. No matter what I do, it's not going to cut around Pinkie Pie. So in order to do that, I need to trace her. So I'm going to open my trace window and oops, select trace area and then just drag a box over Pinkie Pie. I'm going to turn my high pass filter off. I'm going to bring my threshold up until she fills in with yellow. And just up enough. Now, I'm not too concerned about this because I can get rid of it after, or I can just trace out her edge and it won't cut that out anyway. So I'm not that worried about it. So I'm just going to say, trace outer edge and I'll just show you what that did if I go into my cut style window now oops, and say cut you'll see that it put a line around the picture because I selected everything and a line around Pinkie Pie I'm not too worried I can turn this back off and now I have what I wanted okay the downfall to doing it this way and not not doing a second there's another step that I would suggest doing and here's why if I were to put this on the mat and make some duplicate copies and if I try to oops to do if I try to move them really close to each other actually this picture is not too bad because it oh because this was a a PNG portable network graphic it actually has a transparent background but if it were as a JPEG it would have had a white background around it and so when you bring them close to each other it would have had a white square that would have covered the picture next to it um, this one actually is not a problem, so I could use this like this, and all I need to do is just group it together so that when I move, when I click off of it and click back, I'm not getting just the picture and leaving the outline. Um, and that's fine, so that will work. But if, if I wanted to get rid of the actual edge of the picture, let's say it was a JPEG and not a PNG, so I would need to get rid of the background, all I do is select both my cut line and the picture and go to Object, Modify, Crop. And now when I go to Cut Lines and select everything, Control A will select all automatically for you, and click cut. There is no rectangle cut line as well. It just makes it easier for when you're, you can just change your cut lines a lot easier. Um, it makes it easier to select. I don't have to group it together anymore. It's now grouped together automatically. Um, if I move off of it, I can't drag the cut line away from the image. It moves with it now. And if this were a JPEG with that white rectangle around it, 
that would get rid of that white rectangle around it and I'd be able to put them very close to each other without worrying about that. Now all you'd have to do to make this a print and cut is you just add your registration marks and you want to make sure that it's not within this hashed area so you'll need to move down. You can put as many on the page as you want or you could fill it up with other images on here. You wouldn't have to worry about how close they are together because there's no background around this graphic and you're all set. You could print it and then cut it, read your registration marks and you're good to go. I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.